Hi, everyone. My name is Ming Ming Fan, and I'm assistant professor at the Rochester Institute of Technology. Today, I'm going to present our work on older adults think aloud verbalizations and speech features for identifying user experience and problems. This work was done with my students, Chiwen and Veneta. Think aloud protocols have been widely used in industry to detect usability problems. However, manually analyzing recorded think aloud sessions is often arduous. What's more, UX practitioners often analyze test sessions alone that may miss certain UX problems and suffer from the evaluator effect. To address these challenges, recent research began to explore AI-assisted UX data analysis methods. In our recent work, we found that subtle patterns in what and how users verbalize their thoughts indicate UX problems. However, these subtle patterns were identified among young adults. It remains an open question of whether similar patterns exist among older adults. In this work, we seek to answer this question. First, we recruited older adults to participate in Think Aloud usability test sessions. During the sessions, participants used three physical and digital products, which included a programmable coffee machine, a pad adoption website, and a food delivery mobile app. These products represented common products that older adults would use in their lives. When working on the tasks, participants were asked to think aloud. To extract verbalization and speech features, we first divided each session into small segments based on the pauses in the recording. For each segment, we extracted audio features such as loudness and a pitch. We transcribed the audio and extracted textual features such as speech rate, sentiment, and the verbal features. What's more, we adopted a widely used categorization strategy to provide a high-level description of users' verbalizations. For each segment, two UX researchers independently identified the UX problems, and then the third researcher joined to discuss and consolidate final problem labels. With the verbalization and speech features, as well as the problem labels, we could now identify common patterns that indicate UX problems. To measure how features indicate UX problems, we computed precision, recall, and F measure for each feature. In general, the higher the measures are, the better the features indicate UX problems. Here I highlight some of the key findings. When users encounter problems, their verbalizations tend to include observations. Next, I'm going to play a short video clip to show how observations could indicate problems. Okay, we'll do that. Nothing's happening. When users encounter problems, their verbalizations tend to include active sentiments as well. I'm going to play a short audio clip to demonstrate this. Notice that the user used a series of words with negative sentiments. Just press the auto button. This, this is goofy. Uh, I, I can't, I, 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 uh, too complicated. We're when users encounter problems, their voices tended to include abnormal speech features. Abnormal speech features were defined as two standard deviations away from the average of these features. Next, I'm going to play a short video to demonstrate this. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. <laughs> Okay. We also conducted a word frequency analysis to identify the most frequently verbalized words when users encountered and did not encounter problems. We found that when users encountered problems, they tended to use negations, question words, words with negative sentiments, and a filler words. When users did not encounter problems, they tended to use task-related nouns and verbs. We compared the patterns with those identified with young adults and found that the subtle patterns are similar for both older adults and young adults in general. The implication for UX practitioners is to pay attention to these subtle patterns in what users say and how they say it. The first implication for HCI and AI researchers is that it is possible to design AIs that leverage subtle patterns to detect potential UX problems automatically. The second implication is to leverage these subtle patterns to design human AI collaborative systems to increase the analysis completeness and reliability. If you're interested in this line of research, feel free to check out our recent papers. Thank you so much for your attention and I'm happy to take any questions.